Hi guys, this is just a brief introduction to the Schlenk line. I'm just going to be outlining the main parts that make it up and what they look like. Here's what it looks like in the fume hood. can look a bit daunting, but really when we break it down into its different parts, it's fairly simple. We have our pump here that's plugged in and attached to a vacuum manifold. And that is put under the low pressures by the pump. And you can see here as well that we have an air bleed, which is what we closed last to put our line under vacuum. We have a solvent trap with a liquid nitrogen dewer that is placed around it. And that cools all the gases that come off of our system, pulled off by the pump, and it condenses into that solvent trap there, preventing any gases going into the pump and condensing in there, which can damage it. All of the hoses that are attached to our system are controlled by these double oblique taps and the arrow denotes the direction of gas flow and connects either to the vacuum manifold or the nitrogen line which we can see here is attached to our nitrogen tap comes above our vacuum line and has nitrogen flowing in and around it that we can connect up to our system to backfill with the inert gas and you can see the outlet for this, which runs through our silicon oil bubbler here and out the end. And that really is like the pressure gauge for our nitrogen manifold. Faster bubbling means higher pressure of nitrogen. We have our vacuum line here as well is also attached to a Perenna gauge, which is our pressure. So somewhere around 10 to the minus 1 m bar is really what we look for when we want to work at low pressures.